Welcome back to News 3 Today, Real Men Giving Real Time. The mission of the 100 Black Men of Savannah Incorporated is to serve as a beacon of leadership to young people in our area through mentorship and a variety of programs that utilize their diverse talents. Harold Oglesby is the president of the organization. Douglas Lapsley is the VP of programs, and they join us now with more. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much for the invite. So you want to get the word out to people that the work that you do with young people is a year-round effort. It's not mm -hmm. just during the summer. It's not just dur during part of the year. But this is a, um, a continuous kind of thing. Yeah, our program doesn't stop. Uh, we are all in throughout the year. And Douglas, being the VP of program, is busy 365 <laughs> days of the year. And, and, and our goal is just to not only put on the programs, but we put on the programs for a purpose. Yeah. And the purpose is to engage young people and to expose them to a number of things with the hopes that they find that one thing that makes the light bulb go, go right. off. To engage them that they feel empowered, they're knowledgeable, they know about a lot of different things, so they can figure out what it is I really love to do. So Douglas, like I said, he leaves those programs and he stays busy and he's always got his phone ringing because people want to take advantage and that's what we encourage. So we you, encourage people to take advantage of the programs. You have several pillars for your programs, right? Yes, we have multiple pillars. We have our in-school mentorship program, mm -hmm. which is ran by our program lead, Mr. Riley Taylor and his team. We have about 10 schools right now uh, that we actually do in-school mentorship on. We also have our Black History 365, which is by <laughs> Mr. Jonathan Winbush at the Beach Institute. Is this so new? Is this a is new program? New. Yes, it is okay. new. It is new. So we're teaching Black History all 365 days of the year. That's the curriculum that we have. And so now we have the actual curator of the Beach Institute teaching the youth black history from the actual black history cultural center. So that's really cool. We also have our financial literacy program, uh, our program lead, Mr. Kevin Hughes, who is a investment banker. So he is the guy who is teaching hands on banking, financial literacy and the stock market. So you actually have actual subject matter experts in those areas in our programs. And the beauty about the uh, Black History 365 in the financial literacy and you're a parent and you got kids and you're a working parent you don't have to go anywhere yeah those are two online programs that they do so those are Thursdays like the financial literacy is from 5 to 6 and then Black History 365 is from 6 to 645 so you don't even so if you're a working mom or working parent you don't even have to go anywhere you can go home hey log in and and get the information that you need. And the other great thing about this is these are things that students are no longer necessarily taught in school. Correct. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's, it's, our, it's our responsibility as a community to teach that particular curriculum like the Black History 365 and get a little bit more in depth with financial literacy and how it affects their particular home and their family dynamic. There are some things that the kids have taught us when they actually went to a national competition that I didn't even know about. I'm like, wow, in financial literacy. So there's a, there's a lot of good information that our subject matter experts provide to these kids. And then there's a lot of information these kids have and they teach us as well. So it's a good, it's a good dual relationship. It's a win-win situation. It's a win-win situation. You recently held your open house earlier this year to kind of showcase what you do. Yes. How did that turn out? It was good. It was actually really good. And, and Douglas, you mentioned a few of the programs, but we also have our drama program. We oh, have our yes. award-winning, right? Award-winning. You, you yeah. they actually performed at Caesar's Palace. Yes. You met um, Ted, who took part in our track club, who went yes. to Paris for three weeks mm -hmm. as part of the Olympic Games. So it's a lot of programs out there, and our encouragement is for parents and guardians to go to our website, 100blackmensav.org, sign up for the programs, and view our calendar. Mm -hmm. Calendar has everything on there. We got a couple of exciting programs that are coming up, right. including the next YLA and our uh, 100 Under the Stars program. Right, and I'd be remiss to talk about our Youth Leadership Academy, <sighs> which is another program to where that is our signature mentoring program, where we have we talk about a lot of life skills and a lot of life challenges that our children run into. Like our last signature class that we just had was called Decision Making, mm -hmm. how to call the play. So we actually took a look at the psychodynamics of how to make a decision, and then we actually did a practical exercise called the Heinz experiment, to where it actually taught them, hey, in a particular scenario, these are the actual steps that you were taking to make a decision that you didn't even know. So that's another one. Our key event that's coming up, we have one December 6th, December and it's 6th. going to be at uh, Armstrong, on the Armstrong campus, it's called Under the Stars 
to where actually kids are actually going to do histrology. So they're actually going to pull out the huge, big telescopes, and we're going to be looking at the rings of Saturn, all that stuff. So the kids will have an opportunity to do that as well, and there'll be more information coming out as well. About okay. That. So we're running out of time, but I do want to mention that even though it's 100 black men of Savannah, you serve children of all genders, all ages. Any, any kid that wants to be mentored, we'll be more than happy to any bring kid. them under our Even on the kid. college level, right? Yes, absolutely. Right. We have three colli collegiate chapters, at Savannah, one at Savannah State, one at Georgia Southern Armstrong Campus, mm -hmm. and one at Georgia Southern Statesboro Campus, and they keep us active as well. All yeah. right. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank if you'd you like to us. find out, thank you for more information, you can go to our website, wsav.com slash 100 to fill out an application and get your child involved. Stay with us. You're watching News 3 today at 11. We'll be right back.